Yes. And yeah. I don't know why I screamed yes. I was like, yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Let's List with Giovanni Verdi and Emily Pisano. As you can see, Emily is not here for this first episode, but she will be here next week with me to host this podcast. What this podcast really is, is each week a special guest who is well-versed in the subject area will come on and join me and Emily, we'll discuss the topic, and then we're all going to list five of our favorite things from that area. So for instance, today's episode is on our favorite homecoming events that we've experienced in high school. And I'm senior class co-president and my special guest today is our class of 2021 secretary, Maddie Frascona. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Gio. So um, I just told everyone that you're the secretary of our class. If you want to like run through your officer journey. I've been secretary of the class since freshman year. As an officer, it's important to make sure you lead and encourage everyone to get involved. Um, As a secretary, I usually take attendance and do all the little, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that to help run meetings. Awesome. And me and Maddie, actually, when we were in middle school, we were, like, the officers of, like, every club together. (laughs) And we liked to run the show. So it made sense for us to keep that, you know, officer status in high school. (laughs) So what has homecoming been like as an officer? How is that different than being a student? And what have you gone through? I guess for me personally, it could be a little more stressful, but I definitely put some of that stress on myself because, you know, you strive for the best and you want the best for your class. Yeah, I feel like it's just been a lot of responsibility and a lot of times questions from people like just from your peers, like come back to you and it's almost like, well, I don't know the answer, like go ask someone else. But um, honestly, just even being in homecoming in general, I think we've gotten to experience some amazing events and overall class involvement has really just made the high school experience so much better. It's really helped build friendships. It's helped to build our skills just for the rest of our lives. As you've experienced several homecomings now, what do you recommend if you're gonna start joining or if you're if you've been working on it in your younger years? Well, to go like step by step, to all the incoming freshmen, get involved. Like if you're you're missing out on so much if you don't get involved, it is probably one of the best things to do. And if someone were to ask me for advice on anything in the high school, I would say get involved and start with getting involved with your class. And then to the underclassmen, to the sophomores and juniors, stay involved and participate as much as you can. Yes, you can do it at any point, any year. And I think that the experiences that you'll get are kind of priceless. I don't think you can really replace them. And I think homecoming in itself specifically is, it's a beast. I'm not gonna lie. It is a crazy couple of weeks or months, depending on your involvement, (laughs) where you are sort of, you have your hands full of several things, you almost grow extra hands to work on everything at the same time because you have your class shirts, your homecoming shirts, you have your bulletin board, your skit, your float, and it is all a lot to do. It almost feels like no matter how early you start, you're going to be, you know, racing at the end to stay afloat. Um, And I think the real magic of it is when that Saturday rolls around and you see your finished products of everything. Everything comes out that day for everyone to look at. And you get to take a step back and go, oh, I, that's everything I just worked on for weeks. Like it all came together and it's amazing. And I'm so proud of it. Yeah, when you're exhausted that Saturday morning and you get to see everything and how proud you are and everyone comes together and everyone works together and you just, just so you take pride in what you did. And it's such a great feeling that you'll never forget. And it'll carry into, things that you do after high school. Exactly. So let's get into our lists. So what Maddie and I are going to do is list our top five favorite homecoming events from our time in high school. This is a range from any grade that we've been in high school with and any particular event. So do you want to go first, Maddie? Sure. So my fifth favorite homecoming event was our our class, our class of 2021, our junior shirts for homecoming, which are these ones, our Peter Pan shirts. 
Um, well, first they're long sleeves, and we all were super excited about the long sleeves. But I also thought, I also really like how they're green and they're so different, and I feel like they really tied in the Peter Pan to the shirt. Um, and it, I feel like they just really captured everything we saw in our, in, in what we saw for our vision of Peter Pan. Yes, I happen to have the same fifth place <laughs> homecoming event. I said the class of 2021's junior homecoming shirt. I thought it was so inventive. We were super nervous about doing the green. We were like, why aren't we sticking to like the normal gray and black and white and red? And when we got the green shirts and we saw how like amazing they came out, we were like, oh my gosh, like it worked, like it all worked, you know? In fourth place, although we, were, we are in competition with the class of 2022, um, my fourth favorite was their class 2022's bulletin board last year with Pinocchio. I just thought it was so colorful and, and they had, they, as much as they had like going on, like it really just tied everything together. And it was, it was so detailed and it was just, I just thought it was so amazing. And like, they, I thought they really did a great job of constructing their bulletin board. Yeah, they did really well. And it was surprising because usually it takes you until about junior year to get your footing on the bulletin board. but. Mm -hmm. They definitely got it early. I was super impressed. Um, my fourth spot for my favorite homecoming events is the class of 2020's senior bulletin board. They had Alice in Wonderland as their theme. And I thought it was just like beautiful. I thought that usually when it's so loud and bold, it can look sort of messy and sloppy, but they really kept the details super on point. They had actual tea, like, pouring down into, like, a pot. They had, like, all those different mugs and the table. I thought that it was super well executed. And I remember the day that we put it up. We put up ours, and they put up theirs. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, we'll be fine. But um, it was a really great job. So I think that they deserved the success that they got from it. In third place was the Class 2021, our junior skit. Um, I was really impressed with our junior skit last year, although I was not involved in it and I wish I was. Um, I thought it was awesome to see the progression of our skit because in freshman year and sophomore year, our skits weren't the hottest, but then junior year, it really all came together and I was just blown away. I remember sitting in the audience, just like, I was just like, I was so proud of our class and everybody who was involved and all the hard work that went into it. I could just, I couldn't stop smiling. I was so proud of everybody. Yeah, my third is also the class of 2021 junior skit. I was involved in the performance of the skit and I know that our freshman and sophomore skits were, there were some choices made when we, you know, did those skits. It was, it was a rough time and I think they're reflected in our scores too. But um, I think junior year, we had great guidance from our advisor, Mrs. Pickford. I think that everyone was just enjoying themselves. It wasn't so much of like a stressful situation. It was really a time to celebrate the hard work and the great concept that we had on stage. And it was just fun. It was fun and we felt proud of what we put forth for everyone. So that mm -hmm. was a great time. You can definitely, ha you definitely were able to tell that through the performance, like everyone was having fun. And actually ties into my second place was the 2020 senior skit um, last year. They had Alice in Wonderland and like you could just tell everyone was enjoying their time up on the stage. They're having fun and kids that normally are not involved in theater were involved in the skit. And I think that's important too, that everyone gets involved. And at the end, it was, it was so emotional and it brought tears to our, like I know it brought tears to my eyes and my parents were sitting next to me and I just thought it was a great performance. Yeah, I agree. I think they did such a great job of keeping the fun entertainment value while also mm -hmm. making it like one of those, you know, nostalgic senior skits that- They, they captured like the end of their high school career and they, and they did a really good job of incorporating that into the Alice in Wonderland theme. Yeah. So my number two is kind of a throwback. It is the class of 2018's senior float. So we were freshmen at the time and we had no knowledge of homecoming really. Our advisors were new. We didn't necessarily know what, what we were doing. We just had the advice of older grades. So I remember that morning of going behind Main Street and parking our float. And I was like, wow, like this came together. 
I thought it came together really well then. And then the seniors pulled up and I was just like, what? Like, I had never seen anything so explosive. It was yeah. 80s themed, so I couldn't believe the details that they had, the structures that they built. Like, they built like a big Rubik's cube. I just, we did not have the knowledge of how to do those things. So when we saw that they had done it, we were like, how did they do that? So that was intimidating, but also I just couldn't help but be amazed at how well it was done. I remember standing in front of that float going, oh my goodness, with Davidson, just being like, oh my goodness. Yeah. It was just amazing. And like compared to, like we, we didn't know what to expect. We thought our float came together so well. Which it did for our freshman year. <laughs> sure, we'll say that. <laughs> so what's your number one? So for my number one, it's the class of 2021 sophomore float. Um, personally, it was a huge step up from freshman year and seeing the improvement and how our class worked together to create this amazing float. There were so many different colors, structures, moving parts. And I remember when we got judged, I was behind shaking the raptor cage and I just thought it was like the coolest thing. Um, we had the smoke coming out of the car with the tire, the wheel that spun and the big um, dinosaur over the top that's mouth moves. And I just, it was just so amazing to like see all the little parts being built and then putting it all together. It was just, it, I know everyone worked so hard on that float and just it was so amazing to see how just that we were able to do that yeah in less than a week yeah it's it's like shocking when you see how much you've done to it and yeah. it's like that all happened this week like we just put all those parts together this week you know right and and like it's a bunch of kids that do it and we of course we have the help of our advisors and then and the parents that helped to volunteer. But like, we're still in high school. Like, it's so amazing to see that we're able to do something that awesome. Yeah, it's like, it becomes one of your like proudest yeah. accomplishments in high school and it's not like academic or anything. Yeah. Um, so my number one, it's our bias towards our class. It's the same as Maddie's. <laughs> it is the <laughs> class of 2021 sophomore float. That was the moment I was living. I couldn't believe that from freshman year, that thing that we did, and then going to sophomore year, you and do it. it was just mind blowing. I know that was the year that the homecoming parade got rained out. Right. So the judges came to our float site and exactly what you said, the different pieces that were moving, we hadn't done that before, you know? So having all of it come to life. And I just remember standing there with the other officers and I, tears came to my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was literally just like, I like was getting choked up at how amazing it was. I was like, I just can't believe that we did this. Right, even the back half wall on the outside of the float, yes. the, the logo, that, I just remember being so amazed with how amazing that looks. Of course, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we don't know how homecoming could play out this year if it does happen. But I know that as seniors, we're hoping that we can get one last homecoming in. But yeah. even if not, we definitely had some great memories and some great events to look back on. So I wanna say thank you to Maddie for joining me today. Oh, thank you for having me. So be sure to tune in next week for the next episode of Let's List. I will be joined by my co-host, Emily Pisano. And the topic will change next week and every week after that. So. If you didn't know a topic one week, you could know it the next week. So be sure to join and I look forward to having you guys watch. Thank you. Share a screen. And I'll...